about to get started here. And our pitcher tonight, Justin Verlander. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Righty to the plate. Seem to like the pitch up, has it offered on either one of those pitches. 0 2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Kicks and hits. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters, throws it for strike three. No, that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes. As a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher paint from the line again. You just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Now we take a check of the St. Louis Cardinal fight up. This is not a team that's had much success driving the baseball so far this year. They have to rely on stringing hits together as opposed to scoring a lot of runs on homers, doubles, and triples. So it's hard to bunch runs together. And that's exhausting when your team is at the bottom of the league in slugging percentage. And how much it takes for, for you to put together a rally and put together a big inning. Just a difficult uh, thing to do consistently over a long season. So somehow, some way, somebody's going to have to find some power in this lineup so that they can have some easier win. Well, he's under to make the catch in center, and we'll take a break. It's the Cardinals nothing, and the Astros coming to back. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in Houston, and towing the slab here, Lance Lynn. Well, you can see his wig is a little above the league average. Not bad, but I think in this one, he's going to need to control that a little bit better. Try to limit hitters from getting on base. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Go! A gigantic blast. Home run number 20 on the year. It's 1-0. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate that fast. Sydney, this was a mammoth home run over 460 feet, according to StackCast. You know, Boo, there are only maybe 20 or so guys in the game that can hit a baseball that far, and it's absolutely crazy. It's even that many. Such an impressive swing of the bat right there. And that one is lifted in the air. One down. Now we check out the Astros lineup. Chris, this is an offense that puts the bat on the ball. Tough outs pretty much throughout the lineup, and they have fewer strikeouts than any other team in the league. Yeah, Boog, and I just remember as a player, when you're going up against a club like this, it keeps you on your toes all game long because you got to make plays for your pitcher on the defense. And so an offense like that can really put some pressure on that defense. So they can swing the bat and put it in play, but I also think that they run the bases hard. It adds another element to their game. Carlson snags it for the second out. You rewind and think back to those Giants teams that won three world titles. They were pretty good contact-based teams. Obviously, the Royals as well. It feels like it's swinging back a little bit towards... There, there's a swing and a drive. And it one-hops the wall. And that's a double. Here at Minute Maid Park, here's the second baseman, Nolan Gorman. A 
wind to the pin. Strike one. Fastball for a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. And a pitch. Got him. Looking is the fastball run back over the inside corner. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitters saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Here's Nolan Arenado. Fly ball down the line. Two up, two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Now he'll one. Fouled off. He was late. Deal two. Fouls it back with two strikes. Holding on to a one-run lead here at the top of the second. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball, he stays alive. in order go the Cardinals they trail here one nothing back now and a new arm on the mound to start the bottom of the second Sonny Gray the offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff he's got a great curveball here's Mauricio Dubon the second Mauricio the wind of the pitch Swing and a ball lift in left field. Burleson makes the grab. One pitch, one out. Ooh, he was all that over that cut. first pitch fastball. He just barely Big missed girl. it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Mick Caratini at the plate. Base is empty. Jose Abreu digs in now. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep left field. Way back there. Banks off the wall. That will turn for second. The throw in. And in there with a double off the wall. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days. Hitters trying to lounge and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to short up just like that. A second with one away. Now it's the right fielder, Chaz McCormick. And first offering is fouled off. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And caught on the warning track. Rounder tags at second, and he moves up to third, now two away. 
man, the love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play, and it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact. in this inning the long ball was working it's now a four nothing ball game you're dialed into the show and now it's Yvonne Herrera having a lot more success on the road this season Herrera Verlander back to work and a foul ball One foul back our way, and that's out of play. And here it comes popped up. Dubon settles underneath it, makes the catch for the out, and there's one down. This is Dylan Carlson. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional <laughs> uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Myers brings it in with a nice running grab. So they're down to their final out. Next to him, Michael Ciani. First offering and it just misses. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing side. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. The Redbirds down by four. We're here in the top half of inning number three. They're down to their final strike. Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomney saying so long. 